Oh no, they're gonna hit lemonade. Watch out. I hope you have insurance. Wow, these guys are good. In the last episode of World Towning, we entered Cappadocia to only get stuck in a deep ravine with no way of getting out. We are back at the scene of the crime. We're back at the scene of the crime. Well, actually, the scene of the crime was up that hill, but we actually parked right here for the night. We're now preparing for the most spectacular hot air balloon display of our lives. I kind of feel like I need a cigarette after this experience. What do you think about this place? This place is amazing. We found the only place in all of Cappadocia, besides the place where we got stuck the other day, that we're all alone and we have this magical view and check out the kids are right over there gathering wood. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. And we're gonna have a fire tonight. We are starting a fire on top of Balloon Hill and we have used my six months of Girl Scout knowledge to build this fire. Tomorrow, we're gonna go see the balloons for the very first time, and we're so excited. This is amazing. All right, start it. How big is this fire gonna be, guys? It's going to be very good with our homemade fire starter. I don't know if every family does this. Before we do something monumental, we celebrate with popcorn and hot chocolate, because tomorrow we're gonna see the balloons launch for the first time super early in the morning. Ah, oh, Princess Avalon and King Largo. Yeah. You're hot. You're hot. I'm sorry. We not want Princess Largo. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Prince Largo. Oh, your hot chocolate is delivered. Oh, thank you. Most of you know our story. We started World Towning. Well, it's almost been almost almost five years. Four, a little over four and a half years at this point. And when we started. We were scared. We didn't know if it would be a year, five years, 10 years. Um, we had a lot of support, but we also had some people saying, this is crazy, you're running your careers, you're running your kid's life. All right, mommy's gonna get all emotional on you. Oh God, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look where we are. I am I'm so glad that we did this and we took this big leap and I'm so proud of you guys. Which, which this? There have Just been many this is. World Towning. And I can sit here now telling you that over four years in. You were wrong, guys, who uh, didn't think we were going <laughs> to yeah, we're not messed up at all. We're fine. <laughs> I, I'm really, you guys are, you guys have really embraced it. I know there's been times where it's been uncomfortable and hard and times where it's been the happiest day of your life. And I'm super duper proud of you guys. Where are you going, Largo? You're going to give me a hug? <laughs> oh, you're going to you're fixing the fire. I thought you were going over to kiss me. I can sit here right now, and this is probably, you know, I'm very high strung. This is probably the calmest you're gonna ever see me because I'm really taking a moment to be mindful and reflect that this is exactly where I need to be right now with my family up here looking down on Love Valley and just enjoying the simplicity of life. I love you guys, and I, I really, I can't say this enough. I, I know some days are hard, really hard. And some days are super easy, and some are you days. Crying? That's not my No, problem. I'm not. You're ruining the moment. No crying. I'm not gonna cry. I promise. I, I just, I, I can't even really come up with words right now. I just know that we seize the moment. Will and I were rat race people. We were working long hours. He never saw the kids. I was always stressed out. Um, we didn't hate our life, but we took this jump and this plunge, and I. And we ended up falling into our doom. Into <laughs> our doom? He means the gorge thing that we got stuck in. Oh yeah, well yeah. We've, we've, had some, we've had some hairy moments. That builds character. You mean Harry Potter, you Harry Potter moments. Harry Potter moments. Look how strong you guys are now. I was scared of dentists in the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning green. You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. Hey there, running down to the riptide, taking a ride to the dark side. I wanna be your left hand man. To 
Chris and this evening, I want to I want to see who want to have a contest, see who can do the best hot air balloon sound that they remember from Pamakali at five in the morning. Okay, who wants to go first? I will. Okay, go ahead. Me. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, Largo. That's good too. It's a lot louder. <laughs> cock a doodle doo! That's not what Pamakali sounded like. Okay. <gasps> That kind you guys of, are doing it very quietly. That didn't sound like it. Will, your sound? My sound is, get out of bed, the balloons are rising up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you can't sleep all morning. <laughs> good, good morning from <coughs> Cappadocia. <laughs> It, it is, is early 5 a.m. The launch time is oh. scheduled for 6.30 in the morning and we are scheduled for 100 balloons, maybe 150 today. Um, does that sound right? I don't know. I don't know either. We're tired. We're Dale's still digging the sleepy <laughs> side of our eyes. No, we are actually not going up in a balloon because you have to book them a month in advance. We but tried. we are going to be reporting from the front lines today. <laughs> we, uh, I, was that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, they're right there. We're gonna go check it out. Largo, how cold is it outside? How cold is it, Largo? It's not risky, whatever it is. <laughs> Largo's like one part bear and one part, I don't know. Are you hibernating? Okay, now I am not one of those guys that get all giddy about something because for the most part, our life is like this, okay? We walk around, we see ruins, we, we go on magnificent hikes, uh, we experience life and cultures on a first-hand basis from around the world. But I don't know why, but these balloons, they just really capture the heart and the imagination, the spirit of what it's like to be an adventurer. Um, just being here and seeing this and being part of this majesty is, is something else. I am, I'm awestruck. I really am awestruck today. Welcome to another episode of RVNN, where we are currently at the stage of a balloon launch. You might need to be a little louder, it's very loud here. It's very loud, and we're very cold, as you can see. <laughs> so, if you turn around there, you can see the view. If we turn around there, we can see fire and a couple baskets not lifted off yet. I'm betting by luck that that one's gonna lift off first. Um, tell me which one you think will lift off. That's it for our VNN. Over and out. It's like, it's like a little, you can like pop, pop, pop with a pin, except for I'm not gonna pop them with a pin. But, but they're really cute, right? We have to remind ourselves on a daily basis to go ahead and just capture these moments in our head, take those mental photographs, break out the camera, and just capture the, the thoughts and the imaginations and the feelings of what's happening. I am, I'm grateful. I'm super grateful to be here today. I'm grateful for this channel. I'm grateful for you guys for watching. I'm grateful that it didn't rain here in Turkey today and these balloons went off. But for the most part, I'm grateful to be alive. Who's up 
up on their balloon facts. Why am I bouncing? Who's up on the Cappadocia balloon facts? You think you're bouncing <laughs> like a balloon here. All right, so here in Cappadocia, the Cappadocia region, half million rides on balloons a year. That's amazing. That's a lot of people. 500,000 people. And the baskets take between like 16 and 20, I think eight people in them. So do the math. And the wow. interesting thing about all this is that 10 years ago, there was maybe 10 balloons going up here on a daily basis, if that. And today, about 150 go up every single day. So along the way here, we ran into, check this out, there's like a tent group. They're cyclists. They've been cycling, well, for a very long time. And what they told me is that it got like well below zero centigrade. So like about in the 20s uh, Fahrenheit. I am... I'm very grateful to live in an RV, but I'm very interested to learn about these guys. These, they look rough. They look like they've been going a long way. <laughs> All right, so you've been you've been biking for one year. Yeah. From Malaysia. Yeah. So four of okay. us from like Malaysia, Thailand, and then four of us came. The other four came from France or an island. Did you meet them along the way, or did they? Uh, the four, two of them we met in Georgia, in Tbilisi. Okay. In the capital city in Georgia, and then the other four we just met here in Cappadocia. Wow. And are you all, all going to continue riding together? No. Like obviously, four of them are going to go the opposite way towards right, Malaysia. Right. Right. Okay. And then. The other four are going to go into Europe. Where are you? Where are you heading? To uh, England. To England. Is that yeah. where you're from? No, I'm from Australia. Oh, you're from Australia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're going. Wow. So to get to England, how long is it going to take? How long is this whole trip going to be? Uh, maybe another six months from now, we might be able to get to England. Wow. And what made you decide to do it? Um, so back home at university, there was a guy who gave a talk on his bicycle trip, and then I just got that in my head, and then. After a few years of working, I came. And oh, started that's doing it. so cool! Wow. Well, do you have any questions for Malva One? No. I think that's going to be our next adventure. <laughs> do you want to warm up in our motorhome? <laughs> so, which way are you guys heading? Are you going? So back to this is as far east as we're going. <laughs> Can I put that in the vlog? Sure, go ahead. That's amazing. Babe. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the closest look I get to touch the balloon. That's so cool. Hey. Don't jump. I cannot imagine a better way to spend a morning than with me and all my friends right up there. Hello. Hi. take to be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about how to go when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers <laughs> Congratulations, guys! Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, guys, that's so exciting! Oh, that's oh amazing! Gosh, congratulations! Thank you so much! Oh wow! 
now. <laughs> it's so weird we just happened to be here. Now I'm crying. I'm like, oh. oh, the kids are like, this is so cool. <laughs> This Cappadocia region has taken me by surprise. I had low expectations. I thought it was gonna to be touristy. It is pretty touristy, but what you get in return is, is, I'm speechless. It's just, to be here, to come now is not the same as coming when it's dark out. Come when it's dark, watch them set up, watch them blow the fire into the balloon and have it inflate, and then they're all touching each other. When they're, like, when they're, when they're up, when they're starting, and everyone's getting in the baskets, the balloons are actually touching each other. And they take off almost in a line, and then they, psh, it's, it is that good. This should be a place you visit in your life. How was that for hot air balloon extravaganza? I have to say, <laughs> if you're looking at this video going, wow, that's so much more B-roll than Will ever does <laughs> in the edits and the more music. Guys, how, I mean, it's balloons. I mean, how can you not like balloons gonna, in the sky? It's so pretty. I'm gonna tell you, probably, Will hasn't calculated it yet, but I'm gonna guess he's has like six hours of balloon footage that he's gonna edit down to 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm so excited. He is in love with these balloons. <gasps> Maybe our next adventure is we do balloon travel. Yeah. yeah, we'll be Jules Verne going around the world oh, in 80 days. I love it. <laughs> okay, so be, being the fact that we couldn't get up there and the fact that sort of we didn't show you the eye in the sky, all of the drone, drone we was gave good. you the eye from below. But um, if you came here, and I guess this is my question for you guys, if you came here with the idea of flying a, in a balloon and it couldn't happen, would checking out the balloons from the ground and seeing this from the majesty of sort of just majestic going Sunrise. up? Sunrise. Oh my gosh, would you love that enough or, or would it be a disappointment for us? It's been fabulous. It's been amazing. I mean, there's, I mean, there's, no, there's no stopping loving this. We've never been up in a hot air balloon before, so we don't really know what we're missing, but this has been <laughs> incredibly magical. So with that, um, Ava. goodbye from Cappadocia, and we'll see you next time. But we have something really special for you. Oh my gosh, next time. the big surprise is the next one. <gasps> okay, okay, stop, bye. don't tell them. Okay, bye. In the next episode of World Towning, we learn all about the hot air balloon industry with a real life balloon aviator. We have some questions for you sure. and I'm so excited. So sure. you're a hot air balloon pilot? Yes. And is that the title that you're, is that what people of call course, you? Of course, of course, they call it pilots. And see the first hot air balloon production center in Turkey. We start to produce, as I told you, Turkish balloons. Now, are you guys the first place doing this or is everyone yes, doing it? Yes, 100%. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon to ensure that you get all of our episodes the moment they are released. So, so the question is, did you say yes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. I didn't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, that's so exciting. Oh, that's oh my amazing. Gosh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. It's so weird we just happened to be here. Now I'm crying. I'm like, oh, oh 